Hello, hello, Simnatic Amigos, and here we are again to resume our glorious rivalry between Porto and Benfica, and we are in December. I just lost to Liverpool away, won the other European game, and so Champions League break, a lot of league games, and currently I'm leading the league with theoretically two points ahead of Eddie. Because I beat him somehow in a game that was actually pretty, pretty weird. I'll have to say, very efficient my team looked there. But a very questionable win, to say the least. But so far, giving me a bit of a reason to smile, I guess, at this stage. What can I say? That's all I have, rest-wise. Tight league. Tight competition. So I just played against those guys, Andre is out, and rest-wise I'm trying, yeah, this is us. Just making sure I'm selecting what I believe to be, well, probably, the ones that deserve to start. How are you, Eddie? How's it going? How's your save looking? Yeah, what is your feedback? I'm Tell us. I'm in the game. Gaucho scores. Yeah, Renato Gaucho. I've been scoring a lot of goals, that guy. That's for sure. He's got 12 and 17. 12 and 17? Oh, alright. Thought it would be better. Zico, Zico scores. He's got 10 and 16. This has been scoring a goal in every game. Oh, yeah. That's, that's an animal, though, for this Zico. It's in a different level. He's the best player of the league. Despite being old, but old is what my friend Eddie lacks. Nice old ass. Don't you, Eddie? You love it. 32, yeah, 33, like 34 if it needed. No problem. He loves them like that. I like them young. <laughs> Well, youngish, anyway. Unless he's he's just amazing and he's there, it's fine. But if I'm signing anyone, if I'm investing, I might as well invest on the future of the club. I mean, again, different philosophies, but both rewarding. When. Board is happy at Derby display because Boa Vista is the other Porto team. If you don't know that, now you do. The city of Porto in Portugal, in the north of Portugal, has two big teams. One is Boa Vista, the other one is Porto. Obviously, Porto is the most renowned one because they won leagues. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but Boa Vista are deemed the rivals, the direct ones, blah, blah, blah. Right? I don't know why exactly. Or how the rivalry really started, if there's like a history behind it. Do you have any data? I think that Boa Vista was really small club before the major major took over. Oh, Valentin. Made them. Valentin Loreira. Yeah, made them big. Right. Uh, yeah, I think it was a really small club. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah. They weren't. They weren't. I mean, they weren't that small in Portugal, anyway. I, I know that Salgueiros was supported by Benfica at at some stage. Looks like I sorted out my defensive midfielder need for next year. It's sorted out. Let me see. That is Ooh. Done. Okay. Full free. For free, just for me. Oh man, gonna make love to him all night long. <laughs> uh, yeah, psycho. Uh, Balenense, the way, yeah. And this is us, at least to kick off. Trying to be strong, but have the players in good physical condition, obviously. So, Joel only. Let's 
have injury training is marking that needs to develop a bit. <clears throat> but you'll get there. You'll get there. Careca. Carecão. Careca é festa do careca. Careca party. Careca, careca. Oops. Left back injured, but I have the perfect answer. Eins in the bench. Just like that. How luxurious is my club? Let's be honest. The levels of luxury. Yeah, I don't like the fact that we have seven. Seven what? Seven subs. You don't? No. Why? Seven subs, I think it's pretty decent. I don't like 12 and five and five yeah. subs. Yeah, I hate. I hate nine subs, but uh, and I hate five subs during the game too. I really hate that. That takes yeah, an, aspe like an aspect of managing out of the window almost because you can replace half of your team. Like, you know what I mean? Like for me, like you have to be careful with your selection. That's how you prove you know what you're doing. Now, the guy is playing the game. The team sucks. You switch two guys at halftime. You still have three subs. Like nothing happened. Or make three subs and you still have two. It's like, oh, I'm just going to change all this sector. Boom. Like, let's try again. I don't like that. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. Who do I see coming off the track? Eddie. Eddie the Bastard. On Sa Summer's ass. Uh, you have to come to me, please. Do not betray me. Do not. I believe he's coming to me. I'm pretty sure. I can imagine. I didn't see you were there. Yeah, this guy doesn't have marking, but otherwise he's like 20 galore. Who, Salmon? Mm-hmm. I know, I mean, he's he looks really good to be an attacking midfielder, that's for sure. I can fit that in. Come to me, man. I will make you happen here in my midfield of dreams. Maybe José Semedo will be sacrificed. <laughs> Maybe Jaime Magalhães will be sacrificed. But I'll sacrifice someone. That's for sure. I'll, I'll sacrifice Georges Agi as well if I have to. <laughs> sacrifice. Ah, he wants Ricardo. He wants Ricardo. He is looking for a bit of Ricardo. I think I'm going to drop points in this game. Absolutely great. This, uh, yeah, my rotation is looking pretty healthy, that's for sure. I'm going to put on Petresco. 
are we playing against Guimarães? Should try that anyway. Show Pinto can be in the bench. Gonna put Kabongo and Gomez in the bench. Two strikers, the luxury levels. <coughs> Who's up for Aji? Maybe the sub four should be Semedo. Okay, so I need him to play defensive midfielder. Seems a bit more solid. Hopefully it won't happen, but hey. You never know. Comes to that. At least he's there for a reason. Hui Philippe, every time he's summoned, he's competent. Very competent. Making me think if Hootra doesn't get his <laughs> his A game on. Good luck. Kareke is Kareke. He just keeps scoring. But below the numbers I was ex I was talking about 70, right? He's got 15 games, 19 goals. He's still above. He had an injury, he missed out on a bunch of games. Like a three week injury. If I'm not wrong, in the middle of everything as well, which is like yeah, fifteenth of the ninth, so Right after the international break when everything was starting there in deep. Yeah. Missed out on a few games. He could be closer to 30 goals, I would say. But hey, see what happens. There's Zico. He scores. Zico is a problem solver. There he is. Sorting out any problems that Eddie could have ever considered in this game. Just there. I am Zico. I have got the power. I'm going to defend, defend the results. See what happens. <clears throat> Full time whistle. <clears throat> Signed Paulo Roberto. Julius Cesar. Bem-vindo, God. Uh, why do you have Julius Cesar on your short list? Exactly. If you didn't have him before, why do you have him now? Explain the logic. That soon is. Now he's he's doubled doubled on the oldies. I'm scared. Look at that. He's got Ben two thirty seven. Soon as Shohan. Zico got that Phil Thompson. He's coming. All the experience. <clears throat> All the international power. <laughs> My players are just so much younger. Jesus. And sporting keep getting shit. Five, they get so nothing two. worth mentioning. Sorry, what? Sporting get nothing worth mentioning. They just get shit. What do you mean, players? Yeah. Oh, well. If they don't get their stuff together, they will sink. Oof. Chavez is the goal. Above First sport. shot. Chavez. Yeah, they, they scored that early one. Annoying. A sporting uh, sacked the manager, no yet. Uh, goalkeeper parade and whatever. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper. He's really bad at judging. Goalkeeper, foot. I'm cursed. It's going to be that game, is it? Oh my god, Jesus, or whatever it is, Jesus. They have Jesus in goal, like the real one. But this... Come on. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeez. This Paul Roberto, he's gonna be a great player, this Paul Roberto. But for now I could loan him out. Kabongo. I think I got him before I got Tamuros. Tamuros is 
untouchable. This game is gonna give me a heart attack. Oh great. He's injured too, so he's gotta jump. And Babush is gonna jump as well, I think. I'm going for it anyway. Oh please, I'm gonna be screwed by a goalkeeper called Jesus. 85th. And up, oh man, kill me. Jesus, 17 13 shots, 3 1. They said 1 1. 1 1. Fuzz, this game, but. Hey, Jesus. Now to lose points. Unbelievable. Without being able to do anything about it, literally. Jeez. And it left. And it's back. Still a week for that guy. Next game, 23rd. That's eh, a bit tight, isn't it? Oh well. <coughs> wow. And now we're down to one point. Uh, unbelievable. How was that a draw? <laughs> uh. Come on. Bloody summer. Fuzz. Of course he did. <sighs> oh well. Just have to wait and pray it's going to be cancelled for some reason. <laughs> In my dreams. Going to be playing soon. Uh, that last game. What a killer. Tafarel's form is a bit ridiculous as well. Yeah, but he is so green. In terms of rotation, they're fine. Tulipan. 
that's gonna be handy at least we got this show did you do show what are you doing Hugo Sanchez is in Athletic Madrid. I thought he was a Real guy. He was, I think he transferred after. <laughs> Cancelled. How many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have that many. I got six. I got five. Is that the cap? I wonder. Yeah, no, at this point in time, I'm already waiting for them to get the Portuguese uh, <clears throat> nationality. I'm going to risk that. I'm going to put that guy. You go there, keep developing, you're doing good. 25 years, solid. Julio is here, Gomez is here. <clears throat> guy still injured. Sturness is definitely a better player than he was you and you. a manager or he is a punter. Who? What? Sturness was a better player ever. Oh, than definitely. Definitely. Than he was ever a manager or a punter. His career should have stopped right there after he finished playing for this. <laughs> this literally as, as a manager he's all ones or something Boy, this is horrible he sunk a few clubs hasn't he well I'll never forget the Benfica jeez for me, that was uh, that was comical till this day. Like, if I want to have a laugh, I go back and re relive those days, right? The great Graham Sooners team in Benfica. Pwah. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what was that? The players he kept bringing to the club, man. It's a fuck, you know. It's like a, a contest. Yeah, it's a stupid president back then. It's like a context. Who's worst? Like. Well. Such a stupid president we had. Oh, you had a few. Fools. You had a few in the 90s. Definitely, you had a few. Yeah. Vilarinho. Vale Azevedo. Right? Damasio. Damasio, uh, what was his name? Vilarinho. Uh, Vale Azevedo. Yeah, and the other guy. Um, was it Manuel Damasio or is that a player? Am I confused? Yeah, Damasio was the president. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Another one. They're all, yeah, they're all very good. Extremely forgettable. Like, don't even I'm looking wanna... at Sunes manager career. Ah, come on, dude. Unleash me. <laughs> Sunes manager career, come on. Well, do that on your phone and come on. Press continue. I'm doing this on my computer. Press continue, okay? Continue, continue. Ooh. Thank you. Hang on, hang on. There was a guy. 
can't play. <sighs> Hallelujah. Hey. Jesus. Coaching and managerial career. Rangers. Nietzsche 6. Bebeto. Now I'm gonna win. He signed for 3K. Huh? Of course, it was pounds. That it's the equivalent of 450 euros, I guess. Thousand. He went on to be a player manager at in Liverpool. Let's see this god of a goalkeeper, Lucy. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, he got Dean Saunders to Liverpool. To Liverpool? Yeah, well, in the 80s, of course. Oh, no, okay, sure. No, I know that. I know about for this, but Jesus. In the 80s, <laughs> not in the end of the 90s, for this. Or whatever, beginning of the 2000s, whenever he was there, Jesus, it was horrible, man. In 1990, he gave a professional contract to Robbie Fowler. 17 year old. He gave up. He, he did he? Did he really pay his salary? Did he give the, the contract? It wasn't and the club? It was in, him, in, was it? In, in, yeah, right. in the 91 92 season. Oh, come on, my friend. Oh, he had major heart surgery in 1992, man. Why? Look, he was a great. Like, like, let's just wrap it up with uh, that guy. He was a great player. He was a shit manager overall. That's the truth. He had a lot of chances. He ended up as a pundit and not a particularly good one at all. Like, just saying his career should have ended right after football finished. I was hoping Galatasaray, Southampton, Torino, Benfica, Blackburn Rovers, Newcastle. He had a lot of jobs. I know. A lot. That should tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> True. He had all the chances in the world bro, to prove his ass move for this. I mean, how many more chances do you want? Let's see if he won anything at Galatasaray. It's almost impossible to lose at Galatasaray. Almost impossible? No, not really. The Turkish League uh, still has a level. They're not that bad. They're top of the world. The riot. They are top ten in the planet for sure. I would easily put the 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 Turkish league there. Easily. So you won a cup final in Turkey. Then returned to England to manage Southampton. I was hoping to see this a bit more uh, <clears throat> resumed. <clears throat> I'm signing a bunch of kids for next year, I guess. Sign a central defender, might keep him, might not, don't know, but he's good. Yuri Mulder, just to have on the reserves. 
this Monchu looks amazing. I hope he is another super striker that I just threw in my team. Bit of a bit more anticipation would be ideal, but Smonchu, 17 year old. Mwah. Top of the line. Kabongo can fuck off like nothing. Or Fernando Gomez, to be honest. Either or. It's a coin flip. Now, this is a good signing, definitely. Thank you. Welcome to the club. You can find me in the club. Bye, fool, boo, my mom, get what you need. Not bad. I didn't get summer, but at least I got something. Yeah. This midfield is going to be reviewed. I guess. Ooh, I'm going to go away to Sporting Lisbon. Andre is back. And so is in bulk the rest of the team, I suppose. No reason not to trust. It's so easy to beat, man. Huh? They're so easy to beat, it's unbelievable. Oh well, I hope so. Now I lose and I'm like, oh. Or like, like, not even... Did you just see how I had how, how I had a draw, for example? It's crazy. It's so we. It's as simple as that. You get robbed, <laughs> whatever. Like, no, crazy, robbed. dude. <laughs> robbed in a computer game. Ah, you know <laughs> what I mean. You get Sam, whatever. The 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 machine is like, no, it's not gonna go in or whatever. You're gonna get fucked today you for just some reason. CM. Yeah, basically. At 17 shots, 13 on target. They had one on target, right? One one. Fuck this. That's not being fucked in the ass. I don't know what is. I'm not saying it doesn't happen in reality or whatever, but fuck. Give me a break. That game was a draw. And then you look at Jesus, their goalkeeper, their god. And he's crap. He's an absolute. It's unbelievable. That's the game sending you the message. New, new, new. Not today, my friend. So, what should I call my Liverpool save? What do you mean? Like, Eddie challenges Mario. Your offline. Ah, it's up to you, man. If you want to try that for publicity or whatever, see if, you know, whoever is in our circle. Because, again, it's the same population. Same might Mario challenge. Might get invested, yeah. Liverpool offline. Trying to do better or whatever. Whatever, yeah. You can try something there. Use your your word magic. Petrescu keeps getting praised every day. He's more, more and more praised. Ah, uh, Pinto, João Pinto, you're getting fucked. The kid is all praises. He's the most praised kid on the planet. I'm gonna play Strela Damadora away. Game that goes close to the heart. Close to the heart. It was always a conflicting game over my life, like watching Estrella Damador versus a Porto. Like, you know. Estrella would beat them, I would be delighted too. I think about it, like I probably wanted Strilla to win more than I wanted Porto. You know what I mean? Because yeah, they they are the they're... they are the underdogs and they are my from my hometown. I don't know. There's more there's more calling overall. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that totally is. Yeah. I remember when when they beat them, I think it was with Jesus on the wheel. They beat them, they beat Benfica, and they beat Sporting in that year in the Stadio José Gomes. They beat, At home, yeah. They beat the three of them, like, so that was awesome. Like, they finished seventh, it was the best season ever. But they were solid, they had a good team, yeah. They really had a good team. They had Jorge Andrade, they had Miguel, they had uh, Cheinho, they had Gaúcho, they had Jordão, they had Eliseu, 
Rebelo. These guys were playing really well as as defenders as well. I remember the Leal. Wait. Yeah, Leal was good. There were a few good players there. That Calado before and a Belchevier like on their rise, you know? Like coming from their academies, from their gates. Which is pretty good. For a recently promoted um, team, I mean. Not sure Dimas didn't didn't uh, start there either. I I think he did actually. I'm unsure. I think came to Benfica from Guimarães. I'm not entirely sure. I I think he was one of the youth products as well of Amadora. Might be wrong. I don't know why. I I think so. Belchevier for sure. What Calado, was his name? Uh, yeah, all these guys. Miguel, Jorge Andrade, blah blah blah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was the season. Like next year, Jorge Andrade. There you go. Porto beat the three. They had a good team. It was like Sheinu and Sheinu and Jorge Andrade went to Porto. Miguel went to Benfica. Gaúcho went to Maritimo. <laughs> it was like. It's all switches, meu. No, he started in Coimbra, Academica. Then joined oh, Amadora. Okay. Ah, but he was there, wasn't he? In these early ages, at least. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I associated Dimas with as being one of our symbols as well. Like. And then he went to Guimarães, like I said. That was it. <clears throat> oh, well, win my game. Did my job. What are you up to? Esteril, Barros, hey, meu, this Barros, wow, 36 years old, well, horrible, horrible. I think it was a favor for them, for the, for the guy to get injured. Carlos Cesar Brito, Jaime Pacheco, meu, hey, meu, where's Peixe? Is Peixe here? Peixe must be around, somewhere. No, he came much later. The Elitus as well, the, the attacking midfielder that ended up in Boa Vista. He's there. Attacking midfielder? Yeah, attacking midfielder, right or center. What's the name? Litus. Litus? I'm pretty sure this guy ended up in Boa Vista as well during the 90s. The central defender. No, no, not the central defender. Pretty sure there was another one. João Pinto, he got his thing. Bolognese next. First division team. She is a bit annoying in a way. Aji Magalhães, I'm not, not super happy with that midfield overall. Not that superpower. Master. Do you know why at the moment I'm not feeling it? Yeah, I can definitely feel food in, in his alternative as well. Rui Gomes. It's fine. Oh, yeah, Luiz who failed the medical. He was gonna go to Vasco. Poor guy. That guy is cursed. Didn't come to me. Now he doesn't go to Vasco. I mean, he's playing in Internacional as well. Internacional de Porto Alegre. The rivals of Ronaldinho Gaúcho's home club. The rivals. Three, four. Yeah, it's easy. Easy equation. One more to the bench. And there he is. And we're ready. Let us believe it's going to be another day of happiness for the FC Porto supporters. And the Stadio de Santos, the mythical. Antes. 
Kareka, but he can't score. The goalkeeper is amazing. And Kareka now scores the first. Kareka is unstoppable. And unless Jesus himself apparently comes in front of him. And Bebeto as well. The Brazilian magic is surfacing here in FC Porto. It's too much quality. Too much. All a bunch of Brazilians. And they're awesome. They're not a bunch of Brazilians. They're awesome. They're all legendary players in their own right. Ah, this allowed goal to Kareka. That's unfair. That's sad to see. Demoralizing my, my man. Footed for the penalty. 4 0 halftime. And so it proceeds with Bebeto with a little touch and Colin Hendry as well. And a yellow card. Colin goes. Resume. Fernando Gomes is going to come in as well. Inevitable. And it's right here, right now. There he is. Let's keep the impetus. Jaime Magalhães is touched. No, he's not, but he's going to go. For Rui. Rui Felipe. Another wonder kid. Greg. Oh, come on, man. That's cruel, man. Eesh. The amount of goals this uh, for Kareka should have. St he was still the man of the match, but he only scored one goal somehow. Poor guy. He was always there, like boom, boom, boom. Hey. Cruel. What is our passing level in the midfield? Could be better, couldn't it? Can go all out. Maybe. I'll give this a shot again. Honestly. I will. Barros and Magalhães. Alright, let's believe. Bebeto with Kareke. No questions asked. They were born to be with each other. Like, just imagine. Having Bebeto and Careca there. A 21 year old Bebeto and a 24 year old Careca. Be awesome. 25 now. 25. Careca's getting old. He's getting old. <laughs> Age don't forgive. Such a player. But yeah, I feel I feel for him in the sense that you should have way more goals. Yeah, nope. At this rate, nah, this season is gonna be floppy in comparison. I mean, it's still amazing. He still has more goals in games, but you know what I mean, Eddie. The expectations when they're broken, it's hard to digest. Yeah, I understand. I hope you lose more points. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you lose more points too. Can I be clearer than that? Yep. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game against you. Despite being old, you still have those those titans there now. You got Ziku, you got Sunus. Got a lot going on, don't you? Marlon is in form. Kinda, yeah, he's he's all right. No, your, team, your team is your team is great. Got an amazing right back, amazing. I haven't been using him. Huh? I haven't been using him, Marlon Brando. No, I know, but this right back you have. <laughs> he's pretty freaking awesome. And Samuel is looking decent, man. He's growing. He's 19, man. He's, he's there. This guy doesn't have to leave ever. Fuzz. This Samuel is a... Was he... Who is this guy? I don't even remember this guy. Guinea-Bissau. 
Did he actually, Guinea. Did he actually play like uh, first team football? No idea. For Benfica, that's what I mean. Like I don't know. I have nothing on this guy. Never heard of it. Oh, some well in the eighties was central defender or anything at all. Never heard anyone talking about it. I wonder. Uh, yeah, he's in no, 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 it's Raul. Raul Aguish, man. What? Where is he? Chaves, 37 year old. Wow. Yeah, but his son should be there too, no? Or not? Who is He's in 14 minutes. Yeah, I know, yeah, I've seen him before. No one is gonna sign Rui Aguish, let's be honest. <laughs> no, he's not good. Uh, pff, come on. But yeah, he had a he had a good career. He was decent. He wasn't he wasn't a half bad player at all. He was no Domingos or something like that, but hey, he was all right. I really enjoyed Portugal when we played with like uh, Domingos, João Pinto, Figo, Rui Costa. For me, that was like, you know, happy days. <laughs> yeah, but Domingos was never, uh, he was never first choice, to be honest. We played a bit like that with Sapinto as well in the Euro 96. Yeah, in the Euro 96, the first options were João Vire Pinto and Sapinto. Mobile, yeah, mobile uh, back and forth. Domingos played as well, a lot. Maybe in the qualifiers he played a bit, not a lot. In the Euro. I'm pretty sure he started it. In the year of 96, man. Yeah. He didn't start any games, did he? I I think he did. But he, w he was he was definitely involved. And, in, well, I remember Domingos clearly in year 96. Clearly. And how much I liked him and I was cheering for him. Please, my friend, go. <laughs> Maybe he came from the bench. But he was definitely there in the 1990 uh, under 21s. Or under 20s or whatever that was. Mm. Ah, he was a good player, man. He could finish from anywhere. He was a great finisher. He was a great. He was a good player. Texting uh, John here. See if we're gonna play. When tonight? Yeah. With those other tonight eight for you. guys. Over. Morning for me. Yeah. With eight, with eight other guys or whatever. No, no. I don't think there's gonna be eight other guys. I don't think so. Was well, gonna be a torture of slow. No, but I don't think so. I don't think there's going to be eight other guys. Anyway, we'll see. 
You'd have to put the television program on and... Huh? You would have to put the television program on and... For what? And just have the game on background, because nothing was hap is happening. Yep, I yeah, but we'll try to... Well, we'll try to speed it up as much as we can, won't we? More concerned about you than anyone else, to be honest, to perceive the game. <laughs> but, huh? No, but see if we can uh, get the game started anyway. That would be nice. My dream is like when we pass that international break in September, right? Doesn't matter how many are there, I'm just... That's the moment for me. Right there. If we can reach that, pass that, whatever. Awesome. There's a number for Julius Cesar. Let's start this. Coming with a 451. A little cheeky one as well. I used to use a similar uh, formation back in the day when I was starting to play this game. I, o I always fancied a 451 anyway. Even in reality, I always liked the consistency. The idea of like, I prefer to win 1 0 than to lose, pretty much. Yeah, but it was a bit like that. Definitely. Come on. Barouche. Rui Barouche. Who I am like, I have to bet on this guy. I'm going to try to put Aji on the bench. I don't know if that's going to help me or not, but... I don't know. Aji and Barouche are pretty similar, so... Magalhães is more consistent. Try to find a balance there somewhere. Thing is, is Barros and Aji are frail physically. Ah, free kick goal, go Veya. Four one, and no more for Kareka. That's the question in the end. Everyone scores a lot of goals anyway. Looking pretty healthy. All right, four one. Kareka man of the match ten. That doesn't change. Here we are, always, always glued. It's always going to be like a pubic hair in the end between the two of us. Make no mistakes, people. We are playing against each other. That is what it is. The rest are just little, little obstacles. <laughs> But yeah, fundamental to tackle all the obstacles, for sure. If you don't beat them all, or you don't do better than your opponent, ain't gonna win. It's always little details, little things. Or you just get screwed by the computer. <laughs> Can happen too. And it happens a lot. Grasshopper. Not bad, I get it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this guy a rest, throw that guy in as well. Hopefully that'll be alright. Do the sneaky rotation here. Shall use Cesar, got Hendry, Hendry as well. I'm gonna try these two. Andre is there. Hui Bausch is playing, but uh, yeah, let's try that. Oh well, I'm rotating more than I was thinking initially, but hey, such is life, right? 
see what happens. Attacking short. Don't 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 don't. Ah, uh, and they're saving a lot already. Don't like this start at all. Come on, guys. Ah, Smeditos. And his first goal of the season. Thought he was gonna be stuck in the in the reserves. No way. I need you, boy. Boom, Heinz. Heinz and Petrescu were definitely good signings. I cannot say they weren't. And I'm happy with my next year signings too. I got a good defensive midfielder, a good attacking midfielder, a very a good striker, I mean. A good defender as well. Like I got yeah, four guys, like four rocks for each sector. Careca, cara. Can't stop careca. Who's all touched up? Andre. Who's the captain naturally there? Careca. <laughs> Fair enough. Just saying. <laughs> the game loves careca. Go back to A's. I believe if and Zico together, they would be unstoppable. Sorry? Kareka and Zico together? Oh, yeah, in this league right now. <laughs> Bebeto, Bebeto and Kareka are almost unstoppable already? Like, I know what you mean. <laughs> I totally get it. <laughs> Another Brazilian. It's all Brazilians, Mew. The Brazilians are insane, Mew. They're always insane, but like in the 80s, it's even worse. Right? Have you thought about like just doing a Brazilian team here with the best players you can find possible for Brazil? You're gonna be... Man, the team is unbelievable. It's Socrates, Cerezo, Zico, it's all like top-notch fucking everything if you think about it. Defenders, never ends, goalkeeper, whatever you want, man. you got everything. Like top-notch. Everything. You almost go to Italy, you find them all there. So much, so many, just so many. And in Brazil, between Italy and Brazil, it's all almost all you need. You'll find all the Brazilians you want. The ones that matter, anyway. You can say that, I suppose. I mean, they all matter. All lives matter. Okay. For all my subscribers who thought I'm, for a second, that I was an ins insensitive motherfucker. Right? I'm not. I'm very humanitarian. But I don't think everyone is equal, no. I think uh, we are very different, actually. And some people, because they... deserve more and fight for it they should give more and others don't do shit you get what you deserve right? very logical Eddie is more like a let's call him like a center left if we can believe that but hey I can't stand the left anymore 
Talking about politics, people. Yes. Oh, carecão. Carecão. This is Careca's day. And Bebeto. Always there, always accompanying with a little goal. Bebeto likes to, like, you know, just. I'm more of an assist, but I can score too. Right? Eh, just likes to leave that little charm there. I could have scored like four goals, but I wanted to pass it to my colleague because I'm amazing. Gives you that vibe. Okay. Everyone is playing pretty consistently in a very boring way, I suppose. Almost, if you can say that. Careca! Hat trick! He's back! He's back! He heard me! It's like, where have you been, Careca? Now. 29 goals, 24 games. Still very, way below last year. I mean, that's never going to be a... He's going to beat the 42 goals for sure, but still. It's going to be that half-baked season considering his potential. The level we should be going for. Inter Milan. So what are your thoughts on the Europa League? Huh? On the Europa League and the Portuguese teams. What about... It? What are your thoughts about it? Uh, pfft, well, sporting is fine. Looks good. They're in good form. They're going to be a tough tough uh, opponent for anyone, honestly, in the Europa League to get rid of. They are going to fight for it anyway. At the moment, they give you that opinion. Uh, Braga? Very bad. I don't know. They dropped form as well. They dropped form during this season, I think. And they are in the low. And I think they're out, pretty much. And Benfica, pfft, I don't know. They can either go or leave it. I don't know. Benfica is the same old boring fucking... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Benfica at the moment, to be honest. In terms of football played, nothing else. It's not a team that excites me minimally to watch. And pfft, I don't know. But I don't think... That even if they go through to, through with to lose, I don't think they're going to go much further than this, to be honest. That's my honest opinion. As soon as they get a real team, Benfica's gonna <laughs> goodbye me. They get a team that really plays good football as a plan, minimally structured with good players. You guys are done. I think so. I really do. Yeah, I really do. And I'm kind of like, I don't know. Not sick, but like Rafa's and these guys, despite being very good, I'm getting sick of them all. I love your central midfielder. I think he's a, he's he's a pearl you know, for this. I think that central midfielder is awesome. Your what's your what's the name of your baby? Um, Nevs. Nevs. Pro Nevs has been. He's he, he's really good. He's got that vein of champion. He's, the way he fights and wins his jewels, and he's so good on the ball. And he's he's a guy. I have no doubt whatsoever, unless something really bad happens to to him. If nothing happens to him by the time he's like 22, 23. He's gonna be such a pain in the ass, man. He's gonna be a great player. That's what I believe at the moment regarding that man. He's gonna be a great player. Not good. Not a, uh, you know what I mean? Not just good, not just another guy who comes and goes. I think he's, he's better than Moutinho, for example, at least. I think he has way more potential than Moutinho. I think he's gonna be, you know. I can I can I can compare him I think I think this is pretty fair at least it's my opinion anyway take it or leave it but I think he's uh, he's like um, 
I could see like Modric at like 19 being similar to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. He kind of reminds me of Luka Modric and, and like as a central midfielder, everything about him, everything. Like from vision, passing, skill, uh, determination. I think he's, he's a little, little, little Luka Modric in the making, literally. If he doesn't lose himself, this is what we're going to have right there. And he's going to be fucking awesome. We shall see. Time will tell. Many things have been said about many good players with a lot of potential. But uh, he's definitely week after week. No doubt. Like he's he's for me, he's the best player Benfica have. With ball on the feet, going like progressing play and doing everything pretty yeah. much. He's our best player, definitely. About for me. He's he's the guy who has more Probably progressive carries, ball recover, like got He bleeds on the pitch for his team. Yeah. He's so good. He's a great player to have in your team. Great player. Treats the ball so good, so well as well. I mean, players don't get much better than that when it comes to the skill on the ball, being competitive, etc. It's really good. What about Porto? What pearls have you got coming? Hello? Hello? Uh, sorry, my friend. I just went in there for a sec. What were you saying? Uh, I was asking you about Porto, FC Porto. What pearls have you got coming? What? Who? In the game? No, in reality, man. What pearls? Who? Who do we have coming? I'm asking you. <laughs> what do you mean? In, re in, in reality, who was Porto signing that's really good? Is that what you're asking me? No, like coming from the the youth team. Right now. Right now, young players, I they guess have you, talent. I guess the only guy you can say is something like that. Has Borges? Epa, maybe. Or, uh, yeah, you can say João Mario fell into that category, but he's 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 not like 22 or 3, 23. I mean, he's not exactly the the freshest thing, but he's all right. But I, you can say that about what? Francisco Conceição, maybe? The, yeah, for the oh, coach's son, talented. maybe the coach's son. You can say that about him, and, but yeah, it's shit. Porto was just grew a lot lately because before no, that he was just a guy that did some dribbling and jumped on the floor. Before yeah. that, yeah, but now no, he's but actually Porto, doing something useful. Porto is, uh, yeah, not going through a good stage when it comes to future prospects created in the club not at all our market has been like uh, shit Portuguese market or South America kind of on the shitty side of it too like trying to get a good deal more than anything Porto's yeah Porto has lost a bit of uh, power because they they haven't been they haven't been able to sell properly not even Diaz was sold properly Diaz was sold like in despair just to get some money. They had to accept the offer. That's the feeling you get. You know? It's like they had no other option. Like, oh yeah, let's accept, let's accept this. Fuck it. Goodbye. <laughs> like, yeah, that was the last guy that you actually got some money from. I mean, I wouldn't mind selling like Diogo Costa, the goalkeeper. That's, that's the other prospect Porto has, right? Oh yeah, he's good. Yeah, but I wouldn't mind selling him if we could get like, I don't know, whatever we need, 60 million or whatever the hell we need. But who's gonna pay 60 million for for a goalkeeper? I don't think that's gonna happen. So you might might as well keep that asset, right? I suppose. At least makes you consider that possibility a lot. It's been uh, it's been working well here between those two. Now let's get Georges, because Barros uh, 
sélectionner see what happens I can still keep the efficiency how good is this guy in the air nothing not special no one is to be honest no wonder my midfield loses so many headers in comparison oh Claudio Tafarel injured me for this just before the the Champions League is there, man. There, man. Yeah, good news. Good Four. news for me. Tafarel injured. You should, you should lose a game in the league as well. Fuzz. That's what should be coming next. Fuzz, this game is cruel, man. Fuzz, honestly. Don't even know what to say. I'm lost to words. Oh, I already did three subs, yeah. It's gonna do another sub, yeah, right? So annoying. Oh well. Hope he uh, is strong. Ella, he jumped. He jumped there. The attribute is handling was 15 now. Oh, yeah, one month though. What? That's this game, yeah. Jesus, one month. Ooh, for the goalkeeper, huh? Sure. Well, but he's looking good. I'm not gonna lie. He's 16 years old, but if you look at Vitor Bahi, you have some sort of confidence of putting him in. He's not that. He's just so young. That's it. He's a baby. He's a baby. Gonna play Celtic. Oh, I'm playing Barcelona. Celtic. Terry Venables is. A probably very, very strong team. Venables is the manager. <laughs> well, you can't fuck with Celtic. They're gonna come for you. They're gonna fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. You have to try our best, lads. Let's go at them. We shall so show them the spirit <laughs> of William Wallace. <laughs> you little bastards. FC Porto. You little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> let's go lads, let's go to Porto, let's fuck him up. Gonna drink all their all their beer, fuck all their women. Okay. Eh? That's what they're gonna do. That's what they're trying. In Kabongo, when the time matters, there he is. African Nations Cup. Great. <laughs> this guy moves like a Napson figure. Anyway, don't need him, thank God. We got Fernando Gomez in the bench. We got this, we got this, boys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, give me some for the pain. <laughs> come on. Oh, what? Come on. Come on, Paulo. Paulo Futre. That actually jumps. Rui Barros. Um grande jogador. We barro Futre Where is Kareka? Kareka Score your goal Gonna go down on your ratio Where's your goal Kareka? Need a goal Prove yourself Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go crazy here. Let's go crazy on their air. Alright. Where he goes to the middle, and here we go. Rui Felipe taking the game on oh, his feet. Fernando Gomez in the save. Ten goals. 
Conceded. Outra. Rui Felipe getting ye yellow card for the opponent, tripping him. Rui Felipe is unstoppable, but they have that goalkeeper Wadzik, whatever. Another hero showing himself. There he is, Polish. Careca, man of the match, doesn't score, but Careca. Ooh, this group, Porto, Liverpool, Celtic, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. What a group. There he is, Barcelona, Stuttgart, and Dinamo Kiev. Like a little king, a little shitty group. So unfair, so unfair, Jesus. This is all bullshit. Vittorino, he's gotta go again and play. We were at home. We better beat Celtic away as well, or we will be in trouble considering the group is so tight. Group's so tight. One thing is for sure, Vitor Bahia survived his little test, at least the first one. That is great. You tense, Eddie. You tense. Talk to our, talk to our, to our audience while I go. Oh, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. Well, I'll be, I'll be. Someone getting a phone call in the other room. It's actually killing my mojo here. Yes, I scored at the camp now. My strategy worked. I said I wanted something that jumped. And I played normal with direct. And it worked. I won at the camp now. You there? Say what? I want it to come now. Ooh. Benfica are being tooted. Tooted. As potential European Cup winners by the media. You sure are strolling in that group. Fuck, you know. My strategy worked, man. I have to come now. <laughs> well done. Oh, you don't have an innocent team, do you? Yeah, but it was Marlon that scored. Oh well. Congratulations. <laughs> I salute you. I salute. I salute you. For those about to rock, I salute you. Those about to rock, I salute you. Ooh. 
Yeah, crazy motherfucker. Those about the CM, I salute you. <laughs> For those about to see him. <laughs> Are you not entertained? For those yeah. about to see him, I salute you. For those about to see him. Ooh, Diamantino is tired. Graham soon is tired. Diamantino, Diamantino. Amoros is tired. Yeah, you're going there, you're going there. Going there, you're going there. Sub, 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 sub. One, two, three, what four. Changes. Two, four news. And how many can play? Four. A lot okay. of changes. Playing home, sure, but I got a young boy. Gotta be careful. Put L three weeks with a twisted ankle. But what is is? Uh, about GM. Is. I salute you. Tapadel season has been off. CM. I, I salute look at you. This guy. And Zico score the pen. Zico score the pen. Jesus was sent off. The, who is this Jesus? He's the goalkeeper. The test played <laughs> in Gimaraz and Jesus. Ah, oh, you had to. You sent off Jesus, the goalkeeper, the sacred one. That was the guy that made me draw the freaking game. Little bastard. I was nah, because lucky. they think you control the referees, man. You have to learn about that. For this, my game was way more scandalous than yours, man. And I had a draw. <laughs> so it's, and I had a draw. Killed me. At this point in time, Porto was... Kicking and screaming about the referees. Absolutely shocking. Because they've been their whole lives. They, they don't shut up about the referees if they lose. It's the same thing over and over. Even if they win. Pressure, pressure, pressure on the referees always. You think if I start doing this, like going for like a, uh, you know, to hear the um, Metallica song. What's the name? Um, Soldier Boy, made of clay, now an empty shell. What's the name of the song? Twenty one, only son. Uh, back to the front. You will do what I say when I say. What is it like? It's not Soldiers of Clay. What is the name of the song? I'm going crazy. I should have the name yeah, of the song I mean, right here. I'm a master of puppet. I'm a disposable Heroes. Yeah, Disposable Heroes. That's the song. Jesus. Do you think I'm going to be demonetized by YouTube? That was the what I was trying to ask. If I start... Are you, are you monetized? Wait a minute. <laughs> master of If I start like... Demonetized. Hey Mario man, you can't you can't that's a Metallica song, dude. What are you doing? 
You can't just come here on you YouTube. Because huh? you're monetized. Yeah, exactly. As if I was monetized in the first place, right? <laughs> like, exactly. Like. <laughs> uh, You'll be demonized. Yeah, exactly. Like, Mario, no, no, no. If you keep going like this, you're never going to get monetized for sure. Little note, like, like mommy, right? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Ah, you still, you still be monetized. It's just that you have to pay roll your royalties to someone else <laughs> for singing a song. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell! <laughs> 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 Gonna be on the street one day. You can't even sing a song or something. Hey, man, you're not allowed to sing that song. You're only allowed to hear it from a recorder. Eh, people wanting to open man, their mouths. Huh? I, I know it says 11, but I have to go in five minutes. I need to prep myself. Ooh, the preparation. Preparation. So Ooh. cold out here. Second game for him. They're against Barcelona. And moi, hopefully, we can accommodate this. Yep, I will Felipe. Every time he plays, he plays well as hell. This guy, man. He's a little game unlocker. He's good as. And he's all mine, all created here. All Porto. Porto, Porto, Porto. Andre, hopefully, hopefully Andre the Giants in the next game, because we need to beat Celtic's ass if we want to consider going through. Considering Celtic has zero points, I don't want to be the ass of losing points against them, right? And then have to go to Inter Milan and Liverpool at home. My group is fucking awesome. This group as well, you can see it's tough. Group A, Arsenal, Juve, Bordeaux. Your group is is alright, I guess. Tottenham, Roma, Monaco, Bayern. That's a tough group as well. You can say C and D are probably the worst. Fun. More concentrated quality. My group is tough. Fun. They're all good. Oh, but I am better, hopefully, hopefully. Get your motor running, head on the highway, looking for adventure, oh, whatever comes our way. You don't go make it happy and take a world in low embrace. Fire all of your guns at one hand. Explode into space. Born to be one. Take it away. Yeah. Go away. What about that one? Fire. Do -do 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 -do. What? Teach you to burn. Huh? Fire. Fire. Come on. What's the what's the metal what's the melody there? Help me out. But <laughs> <laughs> I I need a bit more fluidity there when you're characterizing the melody, right? Give me some. Fire. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> he says a word and then he does a little do -do -do -do. Oh man, it's not that iconic I don't think I don't know at least my brain it's not capturing anything from that anyway I teach you to burn for this what are you singing <laughs> what is that shit <laughs> 
<laughs> Fire. Tu, 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 tu. What, the, the following is teach you to burn. I'll teach you to burn. <laughs> Fuck. Of course, it all means sex. S E X. Hey. Wow, it's so elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Such a song. <laughs> I've never heard that shit in my life. I don't know what the hell you're singing. Honestly, I have no clue if it's a man or woman singing that. If it's a band, if it's like fucking a Madonna or whatever. Like You don't, you don't know this song? Well, not with what you gave me. I have no fucking idea what you're on about. It's a guy in a mask and a hat and whatever. Like from 1969. Hey, 69. It's the summer of 69. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty little man, you dirty little man. Oh, McLeod, they got a McLeod. Murder McLeod. Murder McLeod, go and get them. They're invading our space. You can't let them take Scotland. We'll show them. We'll fight, fight them off in please, Glasgow. You, you, you leave, please. Huh? After this game, you'll save, please, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, I'll save. No worries. Careca puta! E todo, todo lá dentro. Careca. In the words oh, of the great oh. Tomás Taveira, figure this out if you want. Todo lá dentro. Todo lá dentro no cu da querida. Olha ele todo lá dentro. Todo. You gotta do the little voice shake to really punch <laughs> it up. A <laughs> voice <laughs> shake. <laughs> little shake. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. A little bit cheapy there. You gotta. <laughs> that's uh, that's the trick. That's where all the emphasis is. That little little throat game. <laughs> Colin Andrew, the man of the match. How fucking ironic is that for them? <laughs> oh, I love it. FC Porto comes out of it comes out of Scotland with the win. A goal from Careca and an amazing performance. Man of the match, Colin Andrew. The Scottish the Scottish future superstar. There he is. <coughs> I'm done with my game by the way. If you want to go to work I suggest you. Yeah, I have to go. I have to go, dude. Boom. Saved. Just like that. Yeah, saved. Exited. Boom. Same All right, my friend. See you later, motherfucker. I'll see you later. Bye bye.